Hello, everybody, and a welcome back to Grime, where I am continuing my quest to nearest damn it, complete, hundred percent, and map out the game. I've just been and added added the map that we've had that was kind of bugged. This bit here. I've added this onto my map. And then I've been and added bits onto it. Uh, based on what I'd already done. So I've got a version of the map. That's got some notes on. <laughs> uh, and there's a couple of things that I've somehow managed to skirt around. There was one room in particular. Where um, I got killed by an enemy two or three times and never went back there and I've no idea what's behind him. Could just be him. Um, but now I've got it mapped out in terms of this is what's where. I'm hoping that I'll be able to get a, a better sense of ah, this is where I need to go next because unfortunately I mean, this could be a really short episode because if I'm wrong I really don't know what I'm doing after it. Oh yeah, um, the, the reason why I was at the world pillar is because I've been and got uh, the, the snake whip. Centipede whip. Um, <laughs> I'm just using it as if I've, I've always been using it. It's like, actually, no, Demma. That is no. Uh, didn't I find something over here? And I wanted to make sure I caught it on video. Yeah, there's a... Uh, Blood metal, blood, 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 a blood metal splinter is uh, what I'm trying to say. Yeah, my map is coming on really nicely, actually. I did go and compare, um, and this was a little bit awkward uh, because of how I do the layering um, to keep the file size down. Um, I did actually compare by looking back through the uh, through my videos. Um, well, that worked well. Oh, shite! Um, why are you in the wall? You were supposed to be somewhere else, weren't you? Um, what was I saying? Yes, I've been and done some comparison stuff. Comparing the map as it stands with the bugs. Versus the map that I was actually using. Um, and there's, there's some interesting. Some interesting crossover and some interesting issues. And some of the things that I thought I was talking about correctly, I was actually talking about wrongly because I was looking at the wrong section of the map. It's such a big map. Um, but there really were a, a couple of places. Ow. No shit. The absolute last thing you want in this guy is to be hit by that fucking thing. It is absolutely ridiculous how much damage that does. And because they fly from off screen. Come on.
But yeah, because, because they fly from off screen, it is an absolute nightmare to try and avoid them because you don't know where they're coming from and you have to get past him. Oh, bollocks. I wouldn't mind if he could only throw them in certain directions. Or, you know, maybe you could absorb them. Almost there, Demo. Almost there. Don't start the episode off as a massive ball of salt. Not even really started what I was uh, planning on doing. I might just cut this entire section out. All right. We are back to the Carven Palace. Let's save our game. Plonk. And let us see about making our way up to the enemy that we haven't killed. So, it's up here. Bab. Did he die? He did die. Uh, so, we needed to go up here and now I know that I can parry like that and we can go up okay there's a red asshole there They're really, really easy to kill, but they're not easy to get to. Oh, I can see spears over that side. Right. So we go up here. Screw off. Got you. Okay. Huh. It doesn't look. It doesn't look like there's anything there. I mean, there's clearly an item up there. Oh, which we can get with the. Yeah, which we can get with the uh, the item pull. Oh, 
but oh why are you guys here Who are you and why? Huh? Why were they on the elevator? I've never seen enemies on the elevator before. That's very odd. Where, the, where would they even have got on the elevator? So, this room here, we can't get to. So, I'm going to go. Simply because I think the only place that I can go... ...is back through here. Can't get to that. This is too far. I'm liking the amount of range we have got on this spear. Like, why is that small section of uh, rope up here f uh, glowing? My range is longer than your range. Now, one thing I did notice is that down there in the spikes... There is an item. Also, to the best that I can see, once we're in here, there's no way of actually getting out. Now, that is, as far as I can tell, unlikely for the general design that the devs have come up with. They've, they've been pretty darn good at making sure we've got ways out. But it is so dark in here. You know, there was this area here. See? <laughs> That, that that takes us out to the the opening but realistically we can't get up this way because it's too high I, and I can only do this because I've got the map you know every single one of these points have I got a mouse cursor yeah I have so we can't get that way if we go down this way we find um there was some blood metal stuff down here and then there was some grapple point needed stuff over here over this side underneath the elevator there was that celebration gear we can't get up here because we don't have the grapple thing or whatever it is um can't get up there because we need the grapple this here is where the the chunk was that's that bit that we were just in this over here is where we fought the rock giant 
whatever he was. Um, that there had was a one-way wall, which I assume we go through by coming up here with the grapple. Um, so I'm just having to zoom in on my map. Uh, this here has got a question mark actually above it. Because I think there was a hole in the ceiling. It looked like there was a hole in the ceiling. This here is where we found the the daggers. But yeah, the, there just doesn't seem to be any way I can make any progress in this place. We can't get the elevator to go up any further. We can't get through the door there. Can't get up there. There's grapple needed there. Grapple needed there and there. That's where the. This is the spike corridor. I just, I, I'm I'm actually at a loss. Yeah, and the thing is, we're not even supposed to be going up. We're supposed to be going down to the garden. But I can't find a way of getting down to the garden. Because the only route that we've got that takes us downwards is this one. Have I tried jumping off here? No, it doesn't want us to do that. Yeah, see, look at all those grapple points. It, it's very clear. And by grapple points, I, I mean that we're probably going to use our black hole head to uh, to pull ourselves to them or something along those lines. So, I'm really stuck. We're finally making progress, boys. We're finally making progress. And all we had to do... Ooh. Oh, good. Another boss after all that. I tell you what, we'll ignore you for now. What's this? Unformed hand. All the pots. More informed hands. Let's open that door. Excellent. Thank you <laughs> to the uh, dev that replied to me on Twitter <laughs> about it because I have. I, I was getting really frustrated. Can we talk to you? No. Um. What have I got equipped? Things that I don't necessarily need equipped. Uh, 
Nope. Ouch, ow. Hit, hit, hit point? Hunt point gained. Wonderful. And a chunk of souls. Yeah, so the, the, the fact that you can yank the, the... Those little platforms over the threads was, to be honest, not super well communicated. I mean, if you're actually paying attention the first time you spawn that platform, then yeah, actually, it is... I won't say clear. I hate... Though those fire guys so, so suck. Uh Okay. Oh joy. Many friends up here. <laughs> Let's try that again. Um Youch. <laughs> We all the way up. But hey, at least we can get through the door so we can get back there nice and quickly now. Well, I mean... Quick as you can do anything in a... Uh, stamina base movement. Stamina base movement? Uh, what does this fall down to? Okay. like the spinning uh, the enemies that could turn around in the middle of their attack it's so frustrating it completely invalidates your dodge ability especially if they're firing for example unblockable red darts that burn you to death in like four hits And the thing is, it's not four. It's not four hits. It's four ticks. It's four ticks of their damage. Uh. There we go. Clutching roots. I see there's a purple thing up there. 
Okay. Uh, I just died. Oh, I could have grabbed that. Sod off. Damn it. Couldn't quite see that from where I was. Okay. Nope. Okay. Uh, don't know why I'm looking at the map. We don't have one. What's this? Unformed torso. That's what I wanted to do. No. Shoot. Oh, I, I was faffing around on that, thinking it was going to crumble away. It doesn't. That does. Needs to come down here and then we can go up. Okay. You did. Uh, where's the platform gone? Does it disappear over time? And if it does, this is actually a bit of an issue because you've got no way of getting back down there. Well, short of dying, obviously. Like that. Great. <sighs> that strikes me as a little bit of an oversight. Pretty certain that's how I'm supposed to get the... Ooh. Ha ha! I'm assuming that will unlock our ability to come all the way up here. Uh... That guy is dual wielding. I 
I'm just going to dodge into. Oof! Who? Uh, was that guy? No. Yes, he was. That was a disciple. An apprentice which has proven itself and gained enough flesh through servitude towards the carven's goal. Will gain their wings and become a full carven. In truth, however, their ranks have hardly grown since the palace's formation, so as not to divide too much of the flesh. Unformed torso. Okay. Go up there in a moment. What's over to the... Door won't open from this side. I've still got no map. I see no sparklies. <sighs> Shit. That's just me running out of stamina. That's not that's not the game's problem. That's that's a me problem. I suppose I should have checked whether we can ride this up. I assume it'll just keep on going. Alright, that's first floor. Oh. Ah, second floor. Thank Christ for that. Ooh! I saw it. I saw my beacon location. Well, I saw the little shiny bits. Level them dust. And finally. <sighs> oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, ooh. I don't know what that bit is down there. Oh, my God. This place is massive. So, th these are all bits to which we have been. Well, they're all rooms to which we've been. Oh, and that's what was behind that door that we couldn't open. Makes sense. Okay. I feel much better. Much, much better. Now that I've got that. Oh, it makes all the difference. Still can't get up to either of those places, but we can get up here. Yeah. Uh... I mean, actually... Because I'm lazy. 
I really like the animation on that. I think that's the second time I've ever seen it. I wasn't recording it the first time. Oh, yeah, so I did manage to uh, to get the discarded device. Which I was talking about. It's weird. It's it's a stabby cone thing. Uh, bump, bump. So it's got a ba, ba, ba. But also, you can... Stab. As long as you, uh, if it connects and you've got stamina, it will um, it'll drill into the enemy. Let's see if I can if I can find an enemy to show you, because it's quite cool. It looks really nifty. The, the the general quality of animation in the game is very very good. I'm a fan. I'm a general fan of the game. There's just a couple of things that are a little bits a little bit too obtuse only a tiny bit you know not like deal breaking game breaking um for the most part but uh, but a couple are just a little bit mm. Right, I know there's a thing down there that I need to go back and get. Climbing. Won't open from this side. Okay. Oh, that... That's what the, uh... It's very cool. I like it a great deal. Um, it's really difficult to use, but I like it. Uh, what does... What does this look like? Ah, a little bit similar. Right. Uh, which... Oh. Oof, I'd forgotten how much I pumped into that. 60 on the scythe. Um... 51 to be fair on the whip I quite like the whip 55 on the sword we've got quite a lot of good weapons and that I can't say that they're all really unique because some are obviously based on similar designs I assume we're going up here. The... The Scythe's combo hits... I'm not a massive fan of. Oh, spin to win. Just having the extra range from the whip. So frustrating.
Oh, that's pretty. That looks like a giant void. I love being able to drop things on those enemies. <laughs> it what's on top of the tower living flesh huh Okay. Breath juice shard. Living flesh. Breath juice droplets. But, 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 why are we here? <laughs> that looks like a massive door. It looks like a massive door that's going someplace. But, it doesn't seem to be. Oh, we died, apparently. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay. So, we went up there, but couldn't get anywhere. That won't open from that side. So, I'm guessing... Easier to use the mouse for that. Um, so I'm guessing that comes up from that way. Uh, this here 
was also a door, wasn't it? All right, there's a big guy here. Shooty, shooty arrow guys. Oh. Oh shit, that's uh to it. That's quite a funky little puzzle. I like that. No shield for you, sir. No shield for you at all. Uh, there's another grapple point up there, but there's also... What actually is the special for the whip? Spinning attack that pushes prey away. That's what it does. I knew it was doing something. Uh... Hmm, this is mysteriously empty, isn't it? Oh, that's the, uh, the, the one that we sent across. Dum dum da dum. Gimme that chunk. Blood metal chunk. Uh looks like I've Yeah, that's that's where that was going to go to. Oh, this is the other side of the door. I spy a safe point. Thank Christ for that. So we have an upper save point. The Shapely. Okay. Uh, we can spend some... It's level 60. What's this? Living flesh. Uh, elevator upwards. Okay. So we've got the elevator there, and then we've got a secondary elevator up from here. That makes sense. Uh, I'm also assuming that is going to be a great prey up here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.